hey, I got another contract offer in the mail, uh, but I can't read it. It's it's not um, in English. So it appears to be in American Sign Language, which is language for the illiterate, and it's also called Dog Latin. Dog Latin is all capital letters without the dashes, because Latin is all capital letters with dashes in between the letters. So I don't really know what this says, but I know what it appears to say. It appears to be my name, but it's not in English, and it's hard to tell. So this this is a transmitting utility in commerce that o- the Obama administration created. So all your checks, your middle name is initial, and the rest of your name is all capitalized. All right, I'm going to ask my six-year-old daughter if it's okay to spell a name with all capital letters. All right, honey, if I was to spell your name with all capital letters, is that the right way to spell it? Oh, no. You'd only do the S, though. Oh, good job, honey. Thank you. And then you think it's you, and then they tax it, and they basically um, impersonate you. So this is the Code of Law for the District of Columbia, Section 331, Stat 1190. And said su- Supreme Court shall divide the said district into ten sub-districts and prescribe the place in each sub-district where the justice thereof shall have his office for the transaction of business and may change the boundaries of such sub-districts and the locations of the offices and the justices therein from time to time as the volume and convenience of the business may require. The thing is, is what I know, and you may or not know, if you believe me, you know this. If you didn't look it up, you don't. But that the District of Columbia, when you look up the United States Code of United States, it's also the District of Columbia. So that's that's how they got, they got you. When you're a uh, U.S. citizen in the United States, you don't know you're in the District of Columbia. And it's, it says right here, it's a corporation. And that comes under the, the Commerce Clause, which is... Article 1, Section 8, or Clause 8, Section 3. All right, check this out. Supreme Court case, Diet versus Turner, 439 PTD 266 at 269 22 U2D 403 1968, the non ratification of the 14th Amendment by, the, by Judge A. H. Elliott. Utah Supreme Court. All right, listen to this. Zip codes. As we have said, the federal personnel income tax is collected under a military venue within a martial law jurisdiction. Federal Reserve notes are military script circulated within a military venue. That's the District of Columbia I just read to you people. The, the problem is that the people don't understand how the entire United States is colored by a military. Covered by a military venue. Under the Social Security Act, there was brought into existence 10 federal regional areas. These 10 federal regional areas are the same as a military base. It is not unconstitutional to circulate military script on a military base as the base is considered to be a military venue. Okay, that's the clause I just told you about, the, the Commerce Clause, uh, where it allows them to do that. On a military base, as the base is considered to be a military venue, military script cannot circulate in, a, in the civil jurisdiction of the several states. Okay, and the reason why, I told you this last time, Article 1, Clause 10, Section 8 says we can only use lawful gold and silver for the several states. To get around this constitutional bar, the Congress, via the Social Security Act, created 10 military venues called Federal Regional Areas. Now, that Congress is for the United States, Inc., okay, for that corporation. And those are all, uh, that's a privately owned corporation, and they're all shareholders. So that's, that's what's happening right now. That's not the American Congress. But, so anyway, so they sent the Inquisition Revenue Service is trying to, you know, do business with, with me. Apparently, they don't know how to spell my name so I put return to sender no person by that name lives at domicile uh, or in United States Inc parentheses District of Columbia because the United States is the District of Columbia which is a privately owned corporation 
all rights reserved. So I'm just dropping this in the mailbox, back in the mailbox, because they have me confused with someone else. Um, so American Sign Language is in the Chicago Manual of Styles under foreign language. So it's right there and they're looking at it like if you don't know how to read that's on you they've told you the truth hey one more thing before i drop this off i want to tell you that um uh all of the uh checks that everyone receives is federal reserve notes and so those are ious those are also debt notes there's no value to them um and it's a private military script that's the species used for that corporation calling itself the United States, Inc. And so when Roosevelt stole all the gold and silver from our grandparents and our ancestors, they issued those Federal Reserve notes. And what they did was they used all of the marriage certificates, the birth certificates, and even baptismal certificates um, as securities when they borrowed money from the private banks. So so that's what's going on so all of that all of that money that's actually owed to the living people um needs to be paid back and that's why they're killing people around the world with these wars and you know blovid uh but either way and other many other ways they're killing people but either way what i'm saying is believe this or not no one has ever actually been paid from their work Ever since this money system, it's not money, but ever since this system has come alive, um, because you can't, you can't, it's all debt. So they're literally giving you Federal Reserve notes, um, debt notes for for the work that you know. So that's what's really going on. So anyone who has a problem with being taxed, it's like you know what the real problem is is you've actually never been paid lawful money. So every check that I get, I turn it over. I think I talk, talked about this before, but. Just put uh, redeemed and lawful money. It's U.S. Code twelve four eleven. Um, redeemed and lawful money. You know that's the way to do it. But it doesn't mean that you know that these criminals are going to stop. Um, and this video is a short one, just to put it on the record so that I have evidence. And anything on YouTube, I have saved and backed up in other places. So it's not like I just rely on YouTube. But it's a good place to educate people if they care. I have a contract with the living man, okay, as an electrician and on the land and soil jurisdiction. And I'm engaged in international trade. But what happened was he he registered his his company to the state of California, which is a privately owned corporation. Registered at Dun and Bradstreet at 0715490000 without him realizing or knowing. And now that I've taught him about that stuff, he believes me. But it's really hard for people to get out from under this um, fraud because uh, they believe that they have to do that. They have to register their corporations, which you don't. You get a deed of reconveyance and, and um, bring your corporation back from being lost at sea back to the land and soil jurisdiction. That's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm so proud of you, honey, because you can read and write and you're learning how to count and do math. And those are so, those are so important. All right, no contract here. Bye-bye.